What is MySQL Fabric? MySQL Fabric is a framework for working with large farms of servers. Uh, we have support for sharding and high availability built into the MySQL Fabric right now. But it's possible to add other things to it as well. And who should be using it or who, who is using it now? I know it's in its infancy, but... We don't really have any, any real users in the sense that it's not deployed in production. There's a lot of people who actually try it out. I get a lot of mails about things that actually happens. We get bug reports and other things. So I see people are using it, but there, it's not in production use yet. And that's expected because it's quite new. Okay. Uh, on that note, what's, what are the licensing uh, requirements for, for MySQL Fabric? This is just like the MySQL server. It's distributed under GPL version 2. So you can download it and use it under those licenses. Okay. And then you mentioned at the beginning of your talk that um, there was a new release on Monday. What was that release and what, what was in there? Uh, in this last release, we added credential support and a distributed failure detector. And we also added support for doing updates to the state store without touching the actual servers. Uh, we deemed these critical for a, a good deployment for production use. Great. And I, I noticed a lot of people were, were offering feedback, and, um, and, and especially afterwards. How is user feedback helping your development team? Uh, this is, we know about how to build these stuffs, but we don't know how people use it. So the critical thing we actually need is to get feedback on problems. It's always in the details. So people should report problems, uh, suggestions for features that make their life easier, and other things in general that improves it for their, from their usage perspective. So when someone submits something, you're going to be reading it? It's yes, I will be reading it. I, I check the bugs weekly and reply to them usually. Great. And, uh, you know, this is a week-long event here at Percona Live. Um, what, what other sessions uh, have you found particularly uh, uh, important and valuable to you? I'm looking at any session where people actually have experience from either scalability issues or high availability or run real deployment. So uh, sessions like Yoshinori Matsunobos, uh, session on using MySQL 5.6 was very interesting, and also Chip Turner's session on asynchronous uh, MySQL was right. very interesting. Yeah, F Facebook, I mean, massive uh, user of MySQL, for sure. Yeah. And I know it's uh, you're mostly uh, educating people, but do you have you learned anything so far this week? Uh, I usually learn a lot on these uh, conferences. It's mostly about how people use things, because I... I have a belief that everything goes down to the details. You can have a good idea, you can have a great idea, but it always boils down to how you do the small stuff. So for me, it's important to actually learn how people use systems and the problems, the actual real world problems they run into. So that is very important for me, and I always learn a lot about that on these conferences. And where will you be speaking next about MySQL Fabric? Uh, we don't have anything planned, but I expect that it will be MySQL Connect next ne Next fall, right? Yes, next fall. All right, so I look forward to seeing what's new, and uh, thank you very much for talking with me. Thank you.